into the batter's box. And here I kicks and fires. 2-1 is hit on the ground a second. Pritchard has it. Throw on to first is in time as that's out number one here in the first inning. Here I into his motion. Here's the 1-1 pitch. This one is hammered to left field and that is way out of here. That one was hit a country mile as that one cleared the left field scoreboard and got out into the trees as DiCarlo puts the Pippins on the board right away with a towering home run. And so it's one to nothing now here in the top of the first. There's Kyle Dean and the first pitch to him is outside. It glances off the glove of Matt Elser and that's gonna allow a run to come across and score as unfortunately that is going to go down as I believe a passed ball. And so with that now it's a five to nothing lead. Since then the Pips have scored one more. As this one is hit well into the left center field. Johnston is going to get there to cut it off, but the runner is going to head for third. The throw to the plate or to the base, and he is gunned down at third base. As Ryan Johnston came up firing, and he threw a strike to the third base bag, and Jordan Hovey caught it and slapped the tag down. Second and base. As Lash digs in, here's the first pitch. This one is hit well to center. Caulfield's coming on and he dives and makes the grab. As that's a beautiful defensive play by Patrick Caulfield to save a run and end the inning. As we now head to the bottom of the fourth with the Pippins still on top, five to nothing. Here's the one-two pitch on its way. This one's hit high into center. Coming in is Caulfield, and he dives, and he makes the catch. Another great defensive play by Patrick Caulfield on a ball that kind of fooled him initially. Looks back at Green at second. Here's the 1-1. One -one. This one's on the ground through the right side of the infield. Base hit. Green's being waved around. The throw in is going to be not cut off, but Green is able to get in standing up as he gets in just ahead of the throw as he was flying around the bases there and it's an RBI single for Wooldridge as that extends the lead out to six now. It's six to nothing here in the top of the fifth. He's back in. French looks in, he nods his head in approval, he comes set. Here's the 0-1. This one is hammered to left center field and that's gonna be down into the gap. Johnston racing for third, he's being waved around, he's gonna score as it's an RBI double for Jack Philby. And that puts the Sweets on the board. It's now six to one here in the bottom of the fifth. As Lash is back in, Cunha delivers the 2-0. This one is blasted to right field, and that one is way out of here. It's a two-run home run for Tyler Lash as he blasts that one out to right field. It clears the fence line on a two-run home run, and with that, the Pippins answer right back with a couple runs of their own, and it's now eight to one here in the top of the sixth. As Cunha looks to try to settle back in after the two-run home run. He comes set, here's the pitch. This one is drilled to left field and that is gonna be another home run as that one is way out of here. That one might have even cleared the trees out there in left field. Ryan Johnston didn't even move as that one was a towering drive for Chris Arpan and he Puts on another run, and it's now nine to one here in the top of the sixth. French comes set, here's the pitch. Runner stays, this one is hit into left field. Coming on is Green. Johnson tags from third and he heads for home. The throw in is not gonna be in time and it's offline as Johnston crosses the dish safely. 
It's an RBI sacrifice fly for Tyler Pritchard as that gives the Sweets another run. And it's now nine to two here in the bottom of the seventh. And now Hobie's back into the box. One and two as White comes set. Here's the pitch. This one's fisted and it's down for a base hit into left field. Nyquist is going to be waved around third and the throw is going to go back to second base. So Nick Nyquist scores standing up and that gives the Sweets another run here late. And with that, it's now nine to three here in the bottom of the eighth. Head out there and well, who knows what's going to happen here. As it looks like Soderstrom is going to take over at third base. Josh Brezina is going to take over. And we'll see Roy Elias is likely going to let the fans know. Nyquist gets a nice little ovation in his third year as a sweet. Somewhat of Mr. Sweet is Nick Nyquist at this point. Ryan Johnson, another one of those seasoned veterans on this Sweets team. He's also in his third year with the Sweets. So Sweets just trying to give those guys a little bit of an extra ovation here at the stadium tonight in the final game of the 2018 season, especially for Nick Nyquist, who uh, will not be able to come back next year. Johnson. So don't go anywhere if you're watching. We'll stick around for that. As this one's grounded back up the middle, and that is going to do it as it's a flip on to first base in time. And with that, the Pippins get the victory here tonight in the series finale, the season finale at Borleski Stadium. And it's a final score of 9-3 to three that the Pippins get the win.